Hi there, my name is Bryony, I'm the Head of Coaching at Relish, and today I'm talking to you about communication, which we know is at the core of every good relationship, uh, but it is also something that kind of falls over as soon as we're stressed or unhappy or frustrated. So these are some tips for day-to-day -day communication uh, to, I guess, improve the quality of your connection, even when there's a lot going on. So the first tip I have for you is go on walks together. So this might seem really basic, but essentially having this as part of your routine, whether it's in the morning or the evening or at lunchtime, can be a fantastic way of connecting and spending quality time together where you're both reasonably relaxed. Uh, you might want to talk about difficult topics on the walk. You might want to make it a bit of a routine or get your steps in as well. So this is a great thing to do, particularly if you have somewhat different schedules and routines and you don't always get the chance to have a date night or um, a whole day together. The second tip is to read a book together. So this might be an audio book, this might be reading chapters of a book and coming together to discuss it. So like your own mini book club. Again, it's an opportunity for you to connect in a fun way, in a way that kind of encourages your creativity and um, I guess is a bit of a, a step away from the practical concerns of your life together. Another tip is to do sp something spontaneous for each other. So whether that's breakfast in bed, um, perhaps booking a weekend away, um, perhaps it's even just planning a picnic um, for the two of you. So essentially spontaneity is a really fantastic thing um, to do. It gets us out of our regular routine and it also shows that we're thinking of the other person and about what they might want to do. Another tip is to set aside a specific night for intimacy. So this might seem a bit boring, but the reality is that during busy and stressful times, we're much less likely to want to spontaneously be intimate, particularly because stress is a big impact on the libido. So if you can set aside a night where you both just focus on unwinding and spending time with each other, whether that's to do with sexual intimacy or more kind of the emotional intimacy, it's really just about having that time to connect. Another tip is to answer a series of questions. So you might have heard about the 36 questions, um, which researchers developed as a tool to help people to connect and form an emotional bond. So you already probably have an emotional bond with your partner, but these questions can be fantastic to, I guess, ask each other and to, um, I guess, open up conversations and maybe learn something new about your partner. A final tip is to use Relish. So Relish is a fantastic relationship coaching app. Essentially, there's a lot of communication exercises. You're encouraged to share these with your partner and share your insights. There's also one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you don't necessarily have time to go to couples therapy or you don't necessarily want to spend a lot of money on couples therapy, something like Relish can be a great option because it's flexible, it's accessible, and it's also cost effective. So couples that use Relish find it's a great opportunity to kind of connect and share with each other, even if they're not necessarily able to do that every single day. So I hope this has been helpful and see you next time.